Hey guys, so I just got my new plum paper planner in the mail. You can get these at plumpaper.com. I have had several planners. I've had Blue Sky, I've had Clever Fox, but today I'm gonna to compare my plum paper planner to the Erin Condren I had last year. So let's go. So first off, the packaging on this is just amazing. It, it definitely is packed to protect the planner and you can customize your planner and you can add extra accessories and items for your planner. So you can see here, I've got some stickers and these are things that they just throw in. I did not order the stickers. You can actually win your money back on your paper if you post it on social media. This shows you how sturdy the cover material is and I'll show you that in just a little bit. This is a gift tag that's super cute you can use. And then this was a free product for ordering during Mother's Day. It gave you a free notepad. And then I ordered this fitness tracker dashboard to clip in. It's wet erase. So if you get wet erase markers, you can just keep reusing it. I like to just put it in the front, but you can put it anywhere you want. And then so here is my awesome leopard print planner. So this is my Erin Condren planner from the last year. And this is the plum paper planner. So you can see that they are pretty much the same size. The main difference on the cover is with the Erin Condren, the cover is actually covered in hard plastic, um, which was cool if you actually want to use this laminated to-do list. I never used it. That was a waste for me. And then with the plum paper, it's got the hard plastic and then your cover is there, which I like this better because I didn't need that laminated or hard plastic cover with a dry erase to-do list. I just didn't need that. Another reason I didn't like the Erin Condren cover is because the way it's made is so that you can change it out. And so a lot of the opening and closing, sometimes my cover would pop off on the Erin Condren and then I would have to take time to put it back on. So I did not like that. So here is the plum paper planner. It has this really cool special dates layout and then it has ideas, plans, and goals, which I really think this is really cool because I like to just kind of brain dump ideas for YouTube and Teachers Pay Teachers. So I really like having this. And I think I may have added some pages at the beginning of the month for places to do those brain dumps, I call them. But uh, we'll check that out in just a second. The monthly layout this is at the beginning of each month for the plum paper planner i really like how it has these goals for the month because i do like to set goals at the beginning of the month and see if i can meet them it also has a place for birthdays events things to remember and then it's got some space where you can just write things i like to use this for pd notes or i also like to just kind of maybe product ideas but i did customize this planner so i do have a place to write product ideas each day of the week so here's the monthly overview and then here's where I customized it. So I teach seventh and eighth grade. So I have a section for seventh grade, eighth grade, and then the extension class at the end of the day. And then I've got a prep plan. And then I have this column just because I didn't know what to put in it. So that's where I'll put all those things I have that I don't know where to put them because they don't fall in one of the other categories. And then I also got to customize it with things for my witty science so I can track those things, track product ideas, because in the Erin Condren, it was just kind of, I took one of those month sections where in the Erin Condren, it just has blank pages, which I'll show you what those look like. This is what it had at the beginning of the month. And so I would just take those. And as you can see, I added extra tabs, like this one says SLO, and I would just put SLO notes there. So that's what I had to do with that because I did not have a place to put all my product ideas and stuff like that. And I kind of wanted to get away from having multiple planners because it was getting a little chaotic. And so that's why I went with Plum Paper. And there's a couple other things that I really like better about this one. So let's get back to Plum Paper because no one wants to look at the 2019-2020 planner again because that was just a year that we don't want to look at that planner again. So I added extra checklist pages in this Plum Paper planner. Um, when I had the Blue Sky Planner, I really liked that one for a simple planner that you just, very cheap, had the layout for the days of the week, kind of like the Plum Paper does. It wasn't, you couldn't customize it, but then I also had to have a grade book. Well, when I got the Erin Condren, it had a grade book in the back, but there wasn't enough checklist pages. And so I really like these checklist pages and I like how I can add the students' names here and here because... For me with the Erin Condren, there was no place for students' names on this side. So you had to 
go all the way across and see, make sure you are lined up right. I'm just not, I can't do that. That My brain doesn't work that way. I really like to see the student's name and chart so that I don't have to really draw a straight line across two pieces of paper because I will mess it up somehow. So I love this layout for the checklist pages. Now we're gonna look at the back and I'll show you what's left in this planner. One other thing I added on to my planner is this to-do list checklist pages at the end. So this is another place where I can just write down stuff so I don't have to fill up my weekly planner with ideas. And then the last tab to show you is, this is one of the things that makes the teacher planner unique from some of the other planners that Plum Paper has, is the My Class Planner. So you have this year's goals. So these are some things that, during this distance learning, that I saw that, you know, I wanna work on these next year because these were things that I think helped me grow as a teacher during distance learning that I really wanna incorporate into the classroom. So just a little, my thoughts to add into this. And then you have a year at a glance if you wanna use it. You have my class schedule, substitute information if you have to find your own subs. I probably will not write anything in this because I have a sub binder in my classroom. You have a volunteer list and then you have field trips and special events planning sheet here. Um, classroom resources, subject, book website, cost, classroom expenses. You can keep track of the things you spend for your classroom here. It also comes with a behavior log, parent communication, student contacts, student health information. I think this is really good. Um, I probably won't use it too much because again, I have almost 100 students and I, I just don't use these things. We have other, it digitally just works best for this for me. Um, there's also a pass, username, password page on the next one, which I'm not gonna show you because I've already filled out some stuff on it. And then, next year's goals. There's a time at the end so you can reflect on your my class goals and what you did and then some, draw down some ideas to focus on next year. I saw this and I'm so excited about this. I did not realize it came with all these cool stickers. I love stickers. Do I use them? No. When I first start the planner I always use a ton of them but then by the time it gets mid-year I guess some of us are lucky if we're still even using our planners, right? I've gotten much better about it. Used to, by the time it was February, I was like, planner what? But now I actually use it through the end of the year. I even use it during all this digital learning madness. And that's why I said I don't want to look at that planner anymore. So these are those cool pockets. I did add an extra pocket because I do use these for several different things. And I love these. And these feel much sturdier than the ones in the Erin Condren. So... That is my plum paper planner. I'm completely obsessed with it and I absolutely love it. I also got this cute little pen holder off the website. So now I don't have to worry about losing my pen either. All right, so what planner do you prefer? Do you prefer Blue Sky? Do you prefer Erin Condren? Or are you already a plum paper addict? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, drop those below too. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. So the palm paper cover material is water resistant, tear proof, rigid, and sturdy. So this is a sample and it says, try me. So let's try it. Okay, so I have tried tearing this in several different spots. Um, and we've got some coffee right here. I'm gonna drip it on and just see what happens. So you can see that the coffee is just bubbling up on there. It's not automatically soaking in. So I would say this is definitely gonna last the entire year you can see up close it definitely bent it but I mean I was really forcefully trying to tear this I mean you're not gonna sit there and actually try to tear your cover of your new planner or anytime during the year I guess you know get a stress ball if you need to <laughs> tear something <laughs>